Hello and welcome to this video. So I wanted to talk quickly about emergency use authorization. What is this? And why have the vaccines been approved with emergency use authorization? So the way that the COVID-19 vaccines in Canada have been granted this emergency use authorization is through an interim pathway. This is a regulation that was created to allow certain therapies or vaccines that are specific to COVID-19 to essentially be authorized faster than other medications or other therapies that have also gone through clinical trials, but that do not pertain to COVID-19. So this was established because of the emergency of the global pandemic and how it is in everyone's best interest to do everything that we can to ensure that this pandemic ends and that more lives are saved. So for example, many of the monoclonal antibodies that have been approved over the last year, year and a half, have been approved because of emergency use authorization or this interim order that Canada has made provisions for. So these companies or these manufacturers and researchers can apply for this authorization and likely get approved much faster. So for example, say we have another type of vaccine like the Zika vaccine, for example, that researchers have completed clinical trials on. They actually haven't, but this is just an example that I'm creating for you. So if they had completed clinical trials and they wanted to apply for authorization from Health Canada, they would not be allowed to apply through this interim order because their product, their, the product of their research, does not pertain to the global pandemic, nor does it help to solve or resolve the global pandemic in any way. So what this interim order does, it is essentially allows medications, therapies, and vaccines that have been developed in order to treat or prevent COVID-19 infection in people to essentially jump the queue and be considered for authorization ahead of other treatments that do not pertain to COVID-19. The other thing that this interim order does is it allows for researchers to submit to this process before actually completing all of the steps that are required. And why would they do this? They still have to com complete all the steps. However, Health Canada is allowing for what is called a rolling data review. And so as information comes in, Health Canada will evaluate and analyze this information as it comes in. And of course, they will not make a decision until this is complete. But what this does is it does speed up the whole process quite considerably. Now, it's important to note that once this authorization is granted through the interim order, the interim order is only granted for one year. So these companies, it is expected, if they have not already applied, they will apply for authorization from Health Canada through the regular means. However, already having this emergency use authorization does give them a head start, essentially, and it allows for this process to happen quickly. Another exciting example is a nasal spray that uses nitric oxide that is being developed out of Vancouver, Canada. The researchers are claiming that the nitric oxide spray helps to reduce the viral load and thus prevent infection from severe disease of COVID-19. Because there is not another product available in Canada that has this type of activity, this company has applied for emergency use authorization under this interim order. And so I do not know if it will be granted, but that is what they were doing. And what that allows them to do is essentially be reviewed before other products, other medications, other therapies that do not pertain to the global pandemic. So that's just a quick summary of how the emergency use authorization works. It's a little bit different in the United States than it is for Canada. In the United States, it's called emergency use authorization. Here it's called an interim order. It's only valid for one year, after which companies need to apply for regular authorization. And so we expect that that will happen with the COVID-19 vaccines, as well as other therapies like monoclonal antibodies that have also been approved so far under this interim order. I hope that's helpful. Thank you to my viewer for that comment and that question. Really appreciate all your questions, all your comments, and I do try to answer them. Keep them coming because it does help me know how to create videos that are going to serve you and give you value. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.